I'm Kate Dietz. I have worked for KSA for three years now, um, the sludge dewatering facility out of the West Side Wastewater Treatment Plant in Tyler was one of the first projects I worked on here at KSA. Efficiency experts with the City of Tyler discovered one way to save long-term capital spending was to have a more efficient sludge disposal system. The project was really exciting because we did start kind of with a blank slate. Um, we were going to be placing in on the existing sludge drying beds. Working with the City of Tyler has been great. I'm Tracy Hicks uh, with KSA. I'm a vice president and was uh, principal in charge on this particular project. In the dewatering process in particular, there are both um, mainly chemical components, but um, as with any wastewater treatment plant, there are biological components to it as well. I have my bachelor's degree from Vanderbilt University in chemical engineering with a minor in environmental engineering. Well, I also have my uh, master's degree in environmental and water resource engineering from the University of Texas. The sludge comes in through two six-inch pipes and drops onto the belt filter presses, then passes through the rollers, creating both shearing and compression, which helps dewater the sludge. Automatic backwash strainers and wash water booster pumps are used to strain non-potable water to 200 microns and boost the water pressure to the belt filter presses. We worked uh, very closely with the operational staff here at the plant and developed what's here now, which we believe the staff believes is the most cost-effective and efficient means of dewatering sludge. We have two presses here, each can process uh, 1,300 to 1,400 pounds per hour. KSA helped the city of Tyler save money by increasing their solids from 4% to 20%, dramatically reducing sludge hauling and operational costs. Contact KSA today and let us help your city be more efficient. KSA, a dynamic perspective.